Pilot Story Number 14, Niffle and the Aliens. In an underground cavern, illuminated by the soft glow of dream bottles, Niffle is busy preparing a glowing dream bottle. He hears a faint call of someone needing their dream. Oh, someone's calling for their dream. No time to waste. Niffle clicks his fingers to teleport to the bedside of a sleeping man and places a dream bottle near the man's pillow, watching as the dream enters the man's mind. Sweet dreams, sir. Make your dreams come true. Suddenly, Niffle hears a strange noise outside the house. His ears twitch in confusion, and he teleports to the window. But before he can make sense of it, Mird, the Dreamweaver, appears beside the sleeping man. Just in time, sir. Here's a nice little sprinkle to enhance your dream. As Mird reaches into his pouch for the astral dust, three small blue alien greys teleport into the bedroom, throwing Mird off the bed and onto the floor. Whoa! The aliens immediately move towards the sleeping man, preparing to abduct him. Niffle and Mird exchange some panicked looks. What are they doing? They are trying to take him, Niffle. We must stop them. The aliens begin to place the man into a very deep trance. Niffle and Mird act quickly, grabbing onto the man's body to protect him from being taken. I've got him, Mird. Aye, me too. Don't let go, Niffle. Mird is just about to get his cane and astral dust. However, the aliens overthrow them both and are too powerful. Therefore, both Niffle and Mird, with the man, are pulled up into the beam of light, sucking them up into the craft. Do something, Mird. It's too strong, Niffle. Hold on to the man's body and don't let go. The aliens don't even care about Niffle or Mird or the man and take them all up inside the beam ship. Up in the ship, surrounded by advanced technology and an eerie blue light, the slight buzzing sound of energy generators, Niffle and Beard find themselves in a misty white room with a strange apparatus. Where are we? What is this place? This isn't good at all. We need to get out of here. The aliens, unaffected by their presence, begin to take samples from the man. Niffle and Mir try to intervene, but the aliens quickly subdued them, attaching an implant inside of Niffle. A sharp pain shoots through Niffle's body as the device implants something into him without his control. Help, Mird! What's happening to me? Hang on, Niffle! Don't react! The aliens, having finished their procedures, send the man back to his bedroom in a beam of light. Niffle and Mird, weakened and disorientated, are also transported back. The next thing Niffle knows, he wakes up back in his cavern, with no memory of how he got there. <coughs> Niffle's cavern dimly lit by the glowing dream bottles. Niffle stares, clutching his head. What, what happened? Where were we? Mird, where are you? Niffle looks around, confused and disorientated. Mird appears beside him, equally shaken, but more aware picking himself off the floor. Niffle, are you okay there, my brother? I, 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 I don't remember how we got back here. The last thing I remember is some alien craft. But now I'm really hungry. Hungry? Uh, they must have done something to you. We need to figure out what they implanted into you and why. Niffle feels a slight pulsating sensation at the back of his head. He shivers, realizing something foreign is inside him. I'm hungry. Oh, hungry for something. Niffle's eyes turn darker and he begins to have an evil look on his face and runs down to the bottom of the cavern to find some old dark bottles. He opens the chest of nightmares, tongue corks some of the old bottles and starts to drink the nightmares. Mird chasing after him, shouting. What are you doing, Niffle? Stop! Stop! As Niffle and Mird grapple with the mysterious implant and their disjointed memories, Niffle starts to change and transform as he feeds on the nightmares left at the bottom of the cavern. What secrets do the aliens hold and how will they affect the Dreamkeeper's future? The adventures of Niffle, the Dreamkeeper, continue in the hours yet to come. To find out what happens, wait until story episode number 15.